Hey, Chef Ro here. Today I'm going to show you how to temper egg yolks. Uh, I'm going to use this for a creme brulee, but this is the same thing you would do whether it's for a creme brulee or creme anglaise or any type of custard where you put dairy into egg yolks. Tempering basically means that we are going to get that liquid into the egg yolks very slowly because if we don't, then those yolks are going to scramble. Eggs cook at pretty low temperatures. So by gradually bringing them up, we're going to prevent the scrambling. Another thing that we can do to prevent the scrambling, usually these recipes call for sugar, okay? And some recipes tell you to put all the sugar in the milk or the cream. And the reason that they do that is because they're expecting that heat to help dissolve the sugar so that you don't end up with a gritty product at the end. Okay? Some recipes will tell you to put all of the sugar into the yolks. And the reason they do that is because the sugar kind of helps cook the egg yolk and let it take a higher temperature. So they do that so that the egg yolks are less likely to scramble when you add the hot liquid in. My opinion is why choose? So whenever a recipe has uh, sugar as the ingredient and has both dairy and egg yolks, I split the sugar and put half in the milk, half in the yolks. Best of both worlds. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to do. In my bowl here, you can see that I have yolks and some sugar. I'm going to whisk, 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 and you're going to see that it starts to get paler in color, and that is what we're looking for. You can also see that I've got my milk on here, okay, and you want to do it on a fairly high heat, and I know that sounds counterintuitive because you're like, oh, then it'll burn, but the idea is you don't want to stir it very often, so a high heat, it'll come to a boil so fast, it's actually less likely to burn, okay, so... If you can see, my egg yolks have gotten much paler in color, a little bit thick. These are ready to go. If you look closely here at my milk, you'll see that there is bubbles that are starting to form around, and you can even see a little bit of motion underneath. We are basically where we want to be. You don't want to bring this to a boil. This is a mixture of cream and milk, but any dairy, you don't really want to bring it to a full boil. As long as you're seeing bubbles here around the edges, that is perfectly fine. That's hot enough, okay? We're going to continue to cook it no matter what the custard. This isn't the end point of the cooking, so it's going to keep cooking somewhere. Uh, whether it be in the oven or on the stovetop again for something like a creme anglaise. So as long as it's just warm, this will warm up our egg yolks enough. Now most recipes you'll see will tell you to pour it in about a quarter of a cup at a time and you have to do it very, very slowly in that way. And there's something to be said for that. I understand that. But if you have a second person right now, it's really helpful. What you want to do is you want to put in about a quarter to a third of the mixture while you're whisking very quickly, okay? Now, you're going to stop whisking. You don't want a ton of foam on here, especially for something like a creme brulee, or else you're just going to have to skim it back off at the end anyway. All right, so I've got that mixed in. Now, the rest of it can go in, and I just stir very gently, okay? And now I have beautifully tempered yolks with no scrambling. As an extra precaution, in general, you'll want to strain your mixture again, just to be safe. If you're doing a stovetop custard, you want to strain it after it's already been cooked again. If you're going into the oven, you want to strain it now before you put it into the oven. But if you do it this way, you should have little to no scrambling, and there should be zero lumps to remove to begin with. I hope you now know how easy tempering is and aren't intimidated by it at all.